Good morning students and welcome to class 7, session 2020. I hope you all are spending quality time in your home. Please stay safe and take good care of yourself. To begin with computer application subject, I would like all of you to start with MS Excel. Topics which I will be covering in this lecture are MS Excel introduction part, difference between workbook and a worksheet, concept of rows, columns, cell, active cell, components of MS Excel window. What is Microsoft Excel? It is one of the most popular spreadsheet program used for mathematical calculations. It is used to organize data into rows and columns. It is an interactive application used for organizing, analyzing and storage of data in a tabular form. Students, let's understand the term tabular form. Suppose you are told to write names of your five friends. So let's say your friends' names are Aman, Shiva, Anita, Amit and Akash. Further, you to want to write sectors in which your friends are residing. Let's say Aman is in sector 39, Shivak is in sector 22, Anita lives in sector 49, Amit lives in sector 11 and Akash lives in sector 36. Congratulations students, you have done the job assigned to you in a very well way. Now, if you add lines across and in between, then your work will look like this. Children, please observe that the information is still the same, but this information is now arranged in a proper tabular way. In the same way, MS Excel is an electronic spreadsheet or we can say digital worksheet where data is arranged in rows and columns for calculation purpose. The concept of a column, a row and a cell. A spreadsheet is used for calculations where data is arranged in a tabular form. Rows are the horizontal lines moving from left to right. Columns are the vertical lines. At the intersection of a row and a column, a cell is formed as you can see in the given image. Workbook and a worksheet. Workbook is a collection of worksheets. It is like a book cover holding many pages. It contains many worksheets. It is a single file where we can work and store our data. It is assigned a temporary name book 1. Worksheet. It is a primary document. It is arranged in the form of rows and columns. Rows are horizontal, columns are vertical. We can enter, edit and analyze data. At advanced level, we can even place charts on worksheets with its related data. So let's get started. You can open Excel through your desktop icon or through start button. Go to start button, click on all programs, click on Microsoft Office and from there you can see the icon of Microsoft Excel. Then in file tab you can see blank workbook and click on create. This is an opening screen of an Excel window. An Excel file is called a workbook. A workbook consists of worksheets. 
Various elements of an Excel window like name box, formula bar can be seen in this image. Spreadsheets An Introduction A spreadsheet is an interactive computer application program for analysis and storage of data in tabular form that can be manipulated and used for calculations. The program operates on data entered in cells of a table. Microsoft Excel 2010 is a spreadsheet application of MS Office 2010 which is used for storing data in tabular form, performing simple as well as complex calculations. Excel files are called workbooks. Each workbook holds one or more worksheets. When you open an Excel workbook, there are three worksheets by default. The default names on the worksheet tabs are Sheet 1, Sheet 2 and Sheet 3. Features of MS Excel Organized Data Microsoft Excel provides various sorting operations to organize the data entered in a proper manner. Using Numbers MS Excel is used to quickly tally figures, averages, set up budgets and forecast future spending. Functions by using functions in MS Excel, we can perform any simple and complex calculations by using formulas. Advantages of using Excel Excel is an excellent spreadsheet software program to keep large amount of data and records. Some of the advantages are Data can be maintained in systematic manner in a tabular form. Addition, subtraction and other basic calculations can be performed easily on a large amount of data. Data can be updated with much more ease way. MS Excel is easy to use and learn because of its simple GUI. To start Microsoft Excel 2010 Click on Start button Click on All Apps. Click on Microsoft Office. Choose Microsoft Excel 2010 from the Windows Accessories. Components of Microsoft Excel 2010 Workbook A workbook is an Excel file that contains one or more worksheets. By default, a new Excel workbook will contain three worksheets. Rows. Each worksheet has 10,48,576 rows numbered from 1 to 10,48,576. Columns. There are 16,384 columns in a worksheet labeled A, B, C and so on till Z. A, 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 B, so on till A, Z. B A B B so on till X F D Sheet Tabs By default a workbook has three sheet tabs named Sheet 1, Sheet 2 and Sheet 3. Cell A rectangular block formed by the intersection of rows and columns. Active Cell a cell with dark boundary. Cell address. A cell address is referred by column number and row number. Example, A1 refers first column A and first row 1. Data types. Number, text and formula. Worksheet. An Excel worksheet is a single spreadsheet that contains cells organized by rows and columns. A worksheet begins with row 1 and column A. In Excel 2010, the maximum size of a worksheet is 10,48,576 rows by 16,384 columns. Formula bar 
Formula bar has two boxes. The left side box is name box. It displays the address of the current active cell. The data or the formula is displayed in formula bar. The values are automatically put in the active cell. Entering data in the worksheet. In a worksheet, you can enter data in the form of numbers or text by just clicking on a cell and being typing. Click on the cell where you want to enter the data. Then type the data. The data you type appears in the active cell and in the formula bar. To enter data in active cell, type data in it. As you start typing, the data will appear both in the cell and the formula bar. A cell can contain up to 255 characters. By default, a cell contains 9 characters. Time. So let's recap what we have learned today. Excel is used for calculations. By default, there are three worksheets. Rows are horizontal lines represented by numbers. Columns are vertical lines. At the intersection of a cell, row and the column, a cell is formed. A cell with the dark border around is known as an active cell. Each cell in a worksheet has a unique cell address. Kindly solve the given assignment based on this lecture in your notebook. Thank you and happy learning. Hope you must have got an idea about components of an Excel window.